because this is my life. This is how I live. This is what I eat. This is what I do. Hi friends. Welcome to another video. On today's video, we're going to be talking about raw food diet or just a plant-based diet. And I want to talk about that because this is important to me. I went through a lot of issues with my gut. I want to talk about this topic because I had a lot of issues with my gut in the past and through a plant-based diet and juicing and just changing everything like diet wise or food wise, the way I eat really, really changed my life and it really changed my gut problems that I was suffering from. And that was many years ago. And today I'm still continuing on that path of plant-based eating and staying away from things that are not good for my body, especially like processed food. Like I just like stay away from that because that doesn't help my body at all. So let's talk about the honest truth about plant-based diet. There's many videos out there about plant-based diet, but I don't know. But do you notice that anybody is talking about the plain truth? Like what happens when you go on a plant-based diet after all those years of eating on a diet that is not plant-based? What happens? So we're going to let's let's talk about that. So when you start a plant-based diet, a couple of things happen. Yes, guys. Your body goes through a withdrawal process. So Sometimes you may have breakouts, you may have pimples on your face, you may just feel sick. Different things may be happening to you at that time. And that's one of the reasons why some people, they start a plant-based diet and they're like, mm, I'm not continuing because I'm just not feeling good. So let me explain what is happening to you. So all those years you've been eating junk. <laughs> yes, guys, these things are junk. They're not good for us. We've been eating all this junk, all of us, okay? You've been eating major junk. So these things are clogging up our arteries, clogging up our liver. You know, it's just taking out the vibrations and it's just taking out a lot of stuff from our bodies. You know, and it's kind of blocking some of the energy and all the things that we're supposed to have in our body to keep us happy, to help us to be stressless, you know, all that kind of stuff. So when you start to clean your body and eating plant-based food, the body's going through that detox process. It's saying, what is happening here? Nuh-uh, I don't like what you're doing. I want my junk. You understand? That's what the body's saying. And that's why you are feeling, you know, all the thoughts. You may have some emotions. You may be like, oh my gosh, why do I feel like that? You feel sluggish and stuff like that. But honestly, you're going to feel better. Things are going to get better because the body's just pulling out toxins. Your lymphatic nodes is just, excreting toxin everything is just getting rid of toxin so as this toxin goes through bloodstream as it comes out of your body it's giving you that kind of effect but once these toxins and stuff are out of your body then you're gonna start to feel great so when you start on a raw or on a plant-based diet look for like between give it a week a week at least and then you're gonna start to feel better have energy you're gonna say oh this thing is working you know, you're going to start to see your stomach shrinking, maybe a third of an inch. You're going to see things happening after like seven to eight days. But like in the first couple of days, like I said, you may not feel great. You know, you may have some breakouts, whatever, whatever. But that's normal. That's going to happen because your body is just getting rid of toxin. And I'm telling you guys that because some people, they start a plant-based diet and they're like, no, I can't do this. I just can't. I don't feel good. So that's just, you can see a kind of symptom or a kind of effect of going on a plant-based diet. The second thing is food will taste bland. Honestly, nobody talks about how bland food tastes. Yes, when you're going on a plant-based diet, things taste bland because you're so used to eating everything with flavor, with some dressing on it, all kind of stuff. So when you decide to eat foods, like real food, you, you kind of miss the dressing and you, you town taste buds have to switch over. You have to change. So that is why things taste bland. I remember years ago when I started gardening, 
and I started growing all my vegetables and fruits and stuff like that, I was so amazed at the taste of my own vegetables compared to what I buy in the supermarket. Because I find that the supermarket food was very bland. In my, my opinion, I thought it was very bland. And I always have to make like um, sauces or dips or something to add with my vegetables. So when I grow my own vegetables, like the taste is so much different that I go out there, I pick asparagus, I just eat it raw. I don't even have to cook it. My lettuces, cabbages, everything that I make, the taste is so flavorful. I don't need to put any dressing on it. So that's an example. I mean, if you grow your own food and you can relate to that because I experienced that. And I'm always sad when it's the winter time because we can't grow a lot of stuff except kale in the greenhouse. And so I always feel like, oh, a little bit sad when I have to go back to buying store-bought vegetables and stuff and I have to put salt on them and I have to, you know, cook it up so it can taste the way that I want. So that is why I just juice a lot because I just find the vegetables are too bland. So your, your taste buds is going to go through a process. It's going to go through a process. So yes, food is going to taste bland, 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 bland. The next thing that's going to happen is you got to become creative. When you go... When you're going on a raw food diet or a lifestyle, I call it a lifestyle. Because if you're going to be eating raw food, you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. If you're going to be going on a plant-based, um, you're going to be eating plant-based from now on, that's going to be your lifestyle. So in the beginning, you got to be creative. Instead of you going out there and buying chicken and beef and fish or whatever, now you have to be creative and remove the meat and make things taste better the way you want it you know so you have to be creative in making your meals and flavoring it the way you want so that takes creativity it takes getting used to things may seem like oh I'm it may seem like oh I'm eating the same thing or oh, I'm eating toast avocados and pineapple or something like that whatever you eat regularly but as you get into the groove of stuff you will realize, wow, how much things that you can make. You know, you can make toast. You can make, dif you can make different breads with almond and flour. You can use pineapple. Ups you can make like cakes. You know, you can do so much things. Like you, you can make smoothies and you can make ice creams and yogurt just using fruits. And you just learn a lot of things. And eventually you'll be like, why was I worried? I'm not missing all those stuff out there because i can make my own and those that you make they even taste better than what you buy in the store the real truth is when you start to eat plant-based or when you start to eat raw foods it's there it's going to be a 360 degree turnaround change and things are not going to be the same you may get bored you may get frustrated you may get angry all those emotions are going to happen they're going to come out but you got to know your why. Why are you doing that? Why? Do you, is it because you're tired of inflammation? You're tired of pain? You want to be healthy? You want to live long, you know, longevity? Your hair is falling out. What is your why? Why are you doing that? Or you just want to be healthy overall? So just remember, when you decide to change your lifestyle, decide to change your eating habit, remember your why. Stick to the why and do not give up. It doesn't matter what is going down, how you feel. These feelings are going to soon pass. And what you're going to get is beneficial, very beneficial for you, your body, your health. You're going to have more energy. Things are just going to be better. If you have chronic illnesses, it will go away and all that kind of stuff. Now, I just want to tell you guys a, a little story. Yeah, story time. So one of my in-laws was sick and he was diabetic and he just had problems. He was taking, I think, like 10 or 12 medication, like pills per day. And he had put on a lot of weight. And he just decided to change the way he eats, stop eating junk, just be careful and inten intentional in what he eats. And just eat a plant-based um, plant based food. And he lost like almost 160 pounds. And he, he was even diabetic also. And once he lost the weight and he decided to change how we eat, 
he didn't have any diabetes anymore and he didn't have to take all those pills anymore so i'm just telling you guys that plant eating plants and eating less animal products is really good for the body the body doesn't have to work as hard and doesn't have to use so much energy to be working to digest your food and to process all those animal products that is inside your stomach and all the fat that is in also in those animal products uh, the body had the liver especially have to work hard to get rid of those fat to eliminate the fat and put the fat in the right places where it needs to go because the body do need a little bit of fat but we as a as consumers we tend to consume an excess of fat that the body does not need so the organs and you know the blood the um the vessels they have to be put in those arteries you know they have to be fighting to get rid of all these fats that you're putting inside of your body so that is really really important when you when, when you're thinking about your health in general you have to say what is my why do i want to continue you know taxing my body and putting all that stuff inside my body or do i want to just eat clean and give my body less work to do so that i in turn would have more energy to go out there and do the things that i love you know do the things that i want to do that i enjoy the things that i desire you know one thing that i found out was years ago when i wasn't eating like this my energy level was not as high as it is I, I mean i wasn't i i can't say that i was a person that had very very low energy i can't say that i did have a lot of energy but now i have mucho mucho energy like i can't get up in the morning i can work and do stuff until 11 o'clock at night and i'm not feeling tired i don't want to go to sleep I, i'm not like exhausted and i can go to bed late at night i can go to bed late and I can wake up again in the morning and I'm not exhausted. I'm just ready to go. And I remember years ago, I was like, oh my gosh, like when that alarm go off, I'm tired, you know, because my body has been processing and processing all these foods and stuff that I eat. And yes, I eat uh, vegetables and stuff like that, but I just didn't eat enough, not enough to counteract the other things that I was eating. So I need to eat like maybe 10 or 15% more to have that extra energy so i know some people they say oh i eat vegetables but how much vegetables are you eating how, how much plant-based foods are you consuming compared to the carbohydrates and the animal fats and all those excess of protein and the junk food that you put in your body how much how much ice cream you're eating you know how much cheese you're eating you know how much milk you're drinking you know all those extra stuff how much burgers you're eating how much um beef and chicken and all that stuff and the, the quantity you eating you know how much how much chicken you eating because we tend to eat a lot of meat so much meat i mean i i was shocked one day when i i saw a woman take a plate of food like her plate was stacked with meat and she had vegetables on her plate it was just a, not even two ounces of vegetables and then she had like i don't know more five ounces of rice and just a whole a lot of meat and you need to have more vegetables on your plate than rice and meat. So as, as you transition into eating a more plant-based diet, you learn things and your body acts differently. You feel better and you learn more and you can say to yourself, these things I'm not going to eat. This is good for me. This is not good for me. I want to eat more of that. I want to eat less of that. And so that that's what it is. So I want, I just want to make the video because a lot of people, you know, say, yeah, go plant-based, go, you know, go raw, all that kind of stuff. But they don't really talk about, you know, what happens to your body. How do you feel in that process? You know, what's going ahead with you? You know, <laughs> is this thing driving you crazy? Cause this is something new. You don't know how to do this thing. You don't know how to make, vegetable burgers you know you know how to make um a cauliflower that tastes like chicken you know stuff like that you know so how how am i gonna do this thing you know where am i gonna buy vegetables that is not so expensive you know all that stuff so yeah it's good to to be healthy but you also need information so i figure why not come and share the information all right guys so i'll be making a lot of videos concerning food and stuff like that and i'm going to talk about a lot of things concerning um health and wellness and stuff because a lot of the people who watch my videos 
always say to me, you know, you have, you have so much knowledge about food and you keep yourself healthy and you always eat a certain way for years. They always tell me like, you know, you should talk about those things on your channel because that will be beneficial to people because they want to learn more about how to stay healthy or to lose weight. So yeah, I figure I'll take my channel in a different direction and start making videos about health because this is my life. This is how I live. This is what I eat. This is what I do. So why not share it with you guys? So y'all, thanks for watching. And I'll try to make a playlist for all those videos concerning health and food and stuff like that. So you just can go there and find all the videos. So remember you're beautiful. Think beautiful thoughts in your brain. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.